We wish you can share your view and experience with so many more writing lovers. This is so beautiful. Writing lovers. Writing lovers. This is Sally, by the way. Sorry. Um, anything that we had before that from Patreon that went above that, we put aside to save for things like going to the interview with Anthony. But, um... Hello everyone, my name is Michelle, and although I disagree with Dissociated, I'm still going to offer them the same level of respect that they deserve as any other human being. With that being said, disclaimer, everything in this video is alleged. Basically, Dissociated took all of their money and put it into a business, created a stock out of it so that they didn't have to pay taxes on it. In June of 2020, Dissociated makes the tweet saying, thank you to everyone who has been paying for my Patreon even though I didn't shut it down. And later she says, the reason I didn't shut it down is because I didn't know how, like girl. However, in March of 2020, Dissociated actually got their funds in from the Anthony Padilla show, which was 39,215 pounds, which equates to $53,607. Um, we were engaged to, we were planning a wedding, and we'd spent uh, a lot of money on sort of like an to marry and uh, visas and stuff like that. From March 2019 to December of 2020, Dissociated makes about $4,000 to $5,000 every month from their videos. That is completely separate from their Patreon and other things like that. That means that Dissociated made £104,803 in 2020, which equates to $144,000. But um, we, didn't, we didn't have that much. This document could have been taken from a FOIA request of the court documents, which is mandatory for all companies to disclose. Next, I'm going to be talking about the SRA conspiracies. I have a video on it. It's uncut. You're gonna find oh. things in it that will apply to you because it's written to be vague and it includes a lot of shit. So if it has like one thing that is like a carousel that connects to you guys, then everything else seems to fall in line. Of course it does. It's just like people will run out of ways to fake claim us. And yeah. like, they're just getting more and more imaginative, honestly. The book states that a gemstone altar lives in a cave and has a specific colored necklace. I don't remember what she said in the video and I'm hella not gonna go back and check. She says that I think it was someone in the woods came and gave it to her. Some more coincidences are Omega programming, Ruby's characteristics, Sally and her characteristics of being kind and sweet, the mainframe, and it says something like another gemstone altar who is like a motherly figure. Ruby, and it's very interesting how he gave them the necklace, and Jade is able to make altars go dormant. The book also states that the gemstone altar Jade is a protector, which is an altar that usually appears after a near-death experience. Dissociated was able to travel on a plane by themselves after escaping life-threatening trauma to go and visit Anthony Padilla. They got on a plane, went to a hotel, you know, went to Paris by themselves and vlogged it. And everyone in the video is always talking really great of Nin and Chloe. Kyle is always like, Chloe and Nin, they work so hard on the videos. If they don't like it, they'll go at it again and they'll try harder. And it's like, if you have DID, I can't imagine having enough energy to produce a high quality video every week. Another thing is Dissociated's TikTok is a lot of DID. In fact, it's all DID. Dissociated doesn't appear to have any hobbies other than guinea pigs and DID. We've talked to other people 
who are survivors of trauma who had looked into that book and had read the book and they said that it's written very much in the type of way that like if you read a horoscope you're gonna find oh. things in it that will apply to you because it's written to be vague but the most coincidental part of this um horoscope like that everyone can relate to dissociated your horoscope is screaming at you <laughs> the carousel but the carousel also has a door on the back of it that is guarded by many guards and you're not allowed to go past it neglected to say that in the video but it's okay theft <laughs> of the inner world from the sra book oh my god okay right yeah did you know about this book no no <laughs> even just the title of it sounds like a massive red flag and I'm genuinely yeah. concerned about why anyone would read a book that's literally titled as an instructionary book on how to abuse children. That's very fucking concerning to me. Braided agrees to this stuff. A lot of the times in the video, Braided will kind of get quiet and like stop smiling as much. At this point of the video, she was the one who said that it's similar to a horoscope, which she knows isn't true. take accountability for how much psychology dissociated studies you would think that dissociated would look up how to apologize and how not to apologize dissociated lacks taking responsibility by deleting alters integration isn't this magical steven universe fusion into a new person it's the same person throughout the entire video dissociated manipulates braided gaslights them they are trying to sell the people who they disagree with off like they're crazy so many of these people were deeply disturbed by dissociated i mean they needed to make a four hour video talking about it during times they showed no remorse in sections where it was kind of awkward not to they would be more saying defending themselves saying well that wasn't me but they never said you know what i'm wholeheartedly sorry that i did that i cannot imagine how hard that must have been for you they would say i already apologized if someone is not willing to apologize as many times as needed then they're not really sorry. It is extremely helpful to identify ulterior motives. Dissociated says that they want to provide education, but the reality of the situation is they gave a lot of wrong information and when the information was told to be wrong, they were like, mm, I'm gonna block that or delete that. So if it's not for education, then what is it for? Maybe it's about her, or maybe it's about making a profit. Dissociated says that we deserve an explanation, but when the questions get tricky, they tend to redirect it and seems to lose energy and get more quiet when they are more likely to be in the wrong in this situation. Braided in the video multiple times said to Dissociated, you don't need to like go on girl, like you don't need to like keep going into detail about these situations. Like, all we have to do is answer the questions shortly. They wanted to explain what happened with Bobo. During the first live stream, Dissociated was like, oh yeah, I mean, we better make a video just to like give it to the people on Reddit. Like, no girl, the people are on Reddit are a lot of pe traumatized individuals who are genuinely upset and seeking closure. Dissociated mocks a lot of abused people's original abusers. And if Dissociated has more subreddits on them than Onision, then I, I think you might want to like tune into that. I would have personally appreciated very much if Dissociated had referred to themselves as me whenever referring to Kaya, Kyle, Nin, or Chloe because they are all the same person now. Dissociated spends quite a while defending Nan. They only discuss the horrible of the content that Nan had made. Why is that? If you were genuinely affected by this, Dissociated's acting like it never happened, this individual didn't understand what was going on. The reality of the situation is Nan had a lot of followers. They had about 200 to 400,000 subscribers. They kind of talk about how BDSM was never a part of this and it's like nobody ever said it was but thanks for 
spending half the time talking about that instead of the real problem. Nan did live streams and had a lot of Patreons where he would use this fetish to his advantage. Dissociated took what Bobo and Co said and dramatized it and said that they were lying and Bobo was like, well, yeah, I mean, that's not true. Like, this is actually what happened. Side note that I think is interesting, it is kind of disturbing how Dissociated will make these thirst traps where they're like, ooh, this person's co-con, and it's like, yeah, I mean, all of that's great, but we could go with, we could go without, like, we don't need to know. There's a lot of TikToks that they probably make that are relatable and funny, but a lot of them also seem like not so much. So what do you think about the situation? What do you disagree with? What do you agree with? Thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.